In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my base defense against Trips tight end. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And if you haven't subscribed yet, it's completely free to subscribe. Every day we release new videos that are designed to help you on both the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball. And so if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, it's completely free and it allows you to stay most up to date with everything going on on the channel. All right, guys, so for base defense against trip tight end, what you want to do is you want to turn auto flip on. Uh, auto alignment is going to be on default. Ball in air defense is going to be on play ball. Uh, and then real quickly, you want to put your flats on 30 yards. You want to put your curl flats on 10 yards, and your hook curls are going to be on 5 yards, just like this right here. This is how we're going to start the game against a trips tight end style defense or style of offense. And the play that we're going to be utilizing is the cover 4 show 2 from the nickel 335 wide. Now, I actually have a entire ebook on this defense. I share with you how to run this defense against any offense in the game. Okay, literally any offense in the game, this defense will stop it in its tracks. And so if you want to get that full ebook, it's literally on sale. It's probably the, the best deal in the Madden community right now. It's 15 bucks. One time, $15. It gets you the whole defense. We've updated it twice throughout the season so far. And it has just been a very, very effective and very powerful defense. It literally can stop everything the offense wants to do with one formation. You can stop the run. You can stop the pass. You can blitz from it. You can play match defense from it. You can stop spread. You can stop compression. You can stop goal line. You can stop too tight in. Everything they want to do, you can stop it. So I would recommend this 3 through 5 wide defense to anybody. If you haven't already learned how to run it, um, it is very, very effective. And we run it a little bit differently than most people um, because I think we've been running it a little bit longer. Uh, we've been running this defense since June of last year, and it's just kind of helped us learn a lot about it. So, anyways, cover four, show two. All we're going to do is we're going to press our coverage. We're going to shift our defensive line to the right. We're going to crash our defensive line up. And then from there, we're going to simply play some cover two quarters okay so we're going to put both of our outside corners into cloud flats as you can see right here we're going to leverage the power of the inside quarter zone and then what we're going to do is we're going to take that blitzing linebacker and we're going to man him up onto the um we're going to man him up onto the triangle receiver and then we're going to drop the x receiver into a vertical hook now if you don't want to man him if you don't want to man that linebacker up onto the triangle receiver man him up onto the circle receiver it might be a little bit more practical to do that just because of the style of, you know when people run trips tight end most of the time this is what they're going to do and so what you're going to see is let's see how this plays against something like a combination just like this right here and what you're going to notice is these 30 yard cloud flats with that man coverage on them do a very good job of stopping some of the most popular route concepts in the entire game, such as curl flat, such as verticals, all of those kind of things this will take away. Let me jump over here uh, on the offensive side of the ball. Let me jump over to the play verticals really quickly. Uh, I just want to share this with you. So again, we're going to go into that real quick, and I want to show you how this defense is fairly sound against that. Um, you're not going to give up anything cra crazy um, because, again, of the – mainly because of those 30 yard cloud flats in my opinion but again you're just gonna and this is why i personally like to man him up on triangle because of this right here which you're going to notice on verticals so if they run verticals you're going to see triangle is going to be taken away if they try to throw square that quarter is going to go all the way over there and he's going to pick that off and a lot of times that's what they're going to try to do once they start noticing their cloud flats they're going to start trying to basically glitch you out the problem is they're not going to have a whole lot of success because you have the adjustments. Now, if, let me show you the same route concept, but let me just show you one little adjustment. So instead of manning up the, instead of manning up the triangle receiver, we're manning up the circle receiver. And what you'll see is if we do that, now they're going to have a now they're going to have a pretty deep. You know, it's going to be tight, but they're still going to be able to hit that square receiver. So that's why I would recommend. Um, manning up the triangle receiver. Now, let's say you get in a situation where, you know, they put the triangle receiver on a flat zone, and then they streak the circle receiver. What's going to look like there? Um, let me show you that real quick. So, if I streak the circle receiver, streak the uh, the square receiver, and I do something like this, I want you to watch what happens. So you're going to see drop back pass, and they're going to have that square receiver open. So that's where with trips. 
you know, it is a little bit of a it is a little bit of a gamble. And so, what I would recommend, honestly, um, with this is I would run this to one side of the field as well. So you don't have to, you know, if they start to catch on, you don't have to have that outside quarter on that side of the field. You really don't. What you need, or I'm sorry, that that cloud flat. Um, so you could just play base quarters if you wanted to. Okay, and then just and then just man this guy up on him. The only difference is now you have this this combination of zones over here on the right side, which I think are very effective. Now, if they motion someone and they go into a two by two set, that's where I would really recommend it. So, for example, let's say that they motion. Um, let's say that they motion, like the circle receiver to the left. Okay, if they motion the circle receiver to the left you have fairly sound coverage right you're, you're going to be fine okay um what you could do if you if you wanted to is you could take that man coverage and you could basically kind of recraft some things but in essence i mean it's 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 going to be hard to it's going to be hard to be able to beat this coverage over the top you'll see here that if they put that fade out there that linebacker is not fast enough but in mud that's going to be a safety okay that's going to be a safety with better speed so you'll be able to have that. What I would recommend is you would always want an outside quarter if there's a receiver over the top of it. So, you know, if, for example, let's say that they come into a set that looks just like this right here. Then from that, what all you all you want to do is you just want to say, okay, okay, well then if you're going to do that, then I'm just going to simply, you know, play more a little bit more basic. So you know, I might take this guy, drop this guy here. Uh, I got two vert hooks, two quarter or two two flat zone quarter flats. And then from there, I can kind of adjust, right? If I, what I would recommend in such, honestly, I would recommend this. Like against this formation, this is what I would do. I think this right now is probably one of the most underrated defenses in the game, creating that cover two out of this, um, because it's just so hard to beat it. I mean, it's just so hard to beat those deep halves right now. And as you can see, you're gonna get really, really good coverage on the field. Um, another thing that you can do is you can basically, like if they were to motion, let's say they were to motion somebody, so you're gonna be playing quarters, right? Um, and let's say that they wanna motion somebody. Then all you have to do, the only thing that you have to change on your defense, this is actually really cool. The only thing that you have to change on your defense when they motion somebody, just put the X receiver into a deep half. Or the X corner, the safety, just put him into a deep half. And then you're, you're just bagging everything. And as you can see, you get the pressure and you get the instant sack. So, um, that's what I would do. Those are some kind of concepts for you as far as how to defend trips tight end. But really where you want to start is you definitely want to have these these kind of two quarters. They're going to be able to take both things vertically, and then you're going to basically be able to, you know, do some man coverage. You know, you could do that, you can, and then basically sit in this, and then if they motion somebody over, then you want to go ahead and say, okay, well, he's motioned this guy, so I'm just going to deep half on this side. I've still got everything pretty much bagged. Um, I've got hitches underneath drags quick routes you know they can't really throw stuff like that as you can see they're going to be right in the vicinity so that's what I would recommend doing against the trip side in offset or the trip side in in man 21 I want to thank you for watching this video and again if you want to get the full nickel 335 wide defensive ebook uh, it's in the description and it's just $15 thanks for your time I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions you can hit me up in the text message my number is 208-218-6900. And again, if you want to get that defensive guide, I'm going to put a link to it in the description below.